was dead to begin with. There is no doubt, whatever about that, old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Mind! I don't mean to say that I know of my own knowledge what there is particularly dead about a doornail. I might have been inclined myself to regard a coffin nail as the deadest piece of ironmongery in the trade. But the wisdom of our ancestors is in the simile, and my unhallowed hands shall not disturb it. You will therefore permit me to repeat emphatically that Marley was as dead as a doornail. Scrooge knew he was dead. Of course he did. Scrooge and he were partners for I don't know how many years. Scrooge was his sole executor, his sole administrator, his sole assign, his sole residuary legatee, his sole friend and sole mourner. And so the mention of Marley's funeral brings me back to the point I started from. There is no doubt that Marley was dead. Oh, <laughs> but he was a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone, Scrooge. A squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, covetous old sinner. Hard and sharp as flint, from which no steel had ever stuck out generous fire. Secret and self-contained and solitary as an oyster. The cold within him froze his old features, nipped his pointed nose, shriveled his cheek, made his eyes red. His thin lips blew and spoke out truly in his grating voice.
But there was nothing on the back of the door except the screws and nuts that held the knocker on. So he said, Pop! He closed his door and locked himself in, double locked himself in, which was not his custom. His glance happens to rest upon a bell, a disused bell that hung in the room, and it communicated for some purpose now forgotten with a chamber in the highest story of the building. He saw this bell begin to swing. It swung so softly in the outset that it scarcely made a sound, but soon rang out loudly, and so did every bell in the house. They were succeeded by a clanking noise deep down below, as if some person were dragging a heavy chain. Scrooge then remembered to have heard that ghosts in haunted houses were described as dragging chains. to me. 
the spectre raised a cry and shook its chain and wrung its shadowy hands. Sweet. 